Welcome to Free to Cook. In this episode, we're going to be cooking a buffalo fried chicken sandwich. This takes everything we know and love about buffalo wings and puts it in a sandwich. To start, you would need some flour for the breading. Season with one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, finally one teaspoon of sweet paprika. Mix it into the flour. Next, you'll need a bowl filled with buttermilk. To help create a crunchier breading, add a small amount of buttermilk to the flour and mix it through. Then take a chicken thigh and coat with buttermilk before moving to the flour. Fully coat the chicken with the flour. By using one hand for the wet and the other for the dry, you won't end up with club hands. Once all the chicken has been coated, place in the fridge for half an hour. This will help the coating firm up and will stop it from coming off when frying. Next, we're going to make some blue cheese dip. Add half a cup of mayonnaise, followed by half a cup of sour cream, quarter of a cup of buttermilk, one teaspoon of minced garlic, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, then half a teaspoon of mustard powder. Finally, grate 50 grams of frozen blue cheese into the bowl using a microplane. Mix it all together, and that's your blue cheese sauce. Next, set up your barbecue. I'm using Clean Eat Charcoal. Place a deep-sided pot over the heat and fill halfway with oil. I'm using canola oil. Bring the oil up to a temperature of 350 Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius. For safety, I like to keep a fire blanket within arm's reach. Place a smaller pot on the edge of the charcoal. Add two tablespoons of butter followed by half a cup of hot sauce. Stir until all the butter is melted and combined with the hot sauce. Remove from the heat. Lower the chicken into the oil. Make sure to lower the chicken into the oil away from yourself. Fry the chicken for eight minutes. This will make it perfectly crunchy and juicy. Remove the chicken from the oil and let it drain. This chicken is looking amazing. Place your buns on the toast. All that's left to do is to build this sandwich. Place the chicken into the pot of buffalo sauce. Stir it around to coat the top. On the bun, add some leafy lettuce, followed by the chicken. Top with some blue cheese sauce. Trust me, it's worth adding. Place the bun on top and there you have it. Buffalo fried chicken sandwich. This was amazing. It's the best of buffalo wings, but in the form of a sandwich. If you found this recipe helpful, don't forget to share it. Subscribe to the channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. And if you have any recipe suggestions, leave them in the comments.